Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this EA Javelin anti-cheat error that is 7105372 So if you are receiving these errors, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to try launching the game multiple times. Sometimes you re receive the error and when you try to relaunch it, the error is gone. So try to launch the game multiple times and then check if that does not work. Launch EA anti-cheat game service launcher as an administrator. Now for this, if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the Steam. I don't have the game on Steam. I have added the game from EA app to Steam. Make a right click, manage, browse local files. If you have the game on EA app, click on manage, view properties, and then click on open folder. And then over here, you can see EA game, EA anti-cheat game service launcher, make a right click, and then click on run as administrator, and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to repair, uninstall, and reinstall EA anti-cheat. So, Open this link in a browser, it will take you to EA website. This is the official EA website. Scroll down here, you can see EA Javelin Anti-Cheat Installer. Click on it and then let the download complete and then run this EXE file. Now click on it. Click on yes to allow. And now over here, select Battlefield 6. Click on repair. Go to the game, click on OK. Go to the game installation folder and then select the complete Battlefield 6 folder, select folder, and let the install complete. Once the install is success over here, you can launch the game. This may take a couple of seconds or maybe a minute. And once the install is success, now you can relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Then this time select Battlefield 6 once again, and then click on update over here. During the update, EA Javelin anti-cheat setup may restart. Once you see update success, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to select Battlefield 6 once again and then click on uninstall and then hit install. And again, once the install is success, relaunch the game and then check. So once you see install success, now relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Select Battlefield 6 once again and then click on uninstall, do not install, close this, relaunch the game. And when you relaunch the game, during the launch, it will install EA Anti-Cheat. So once you see um, this, it will it is installing EA Anti-Cheat. If you receive a prompt to click on yes to allow, yes to allow and let, the, let this complete and then you can check. Still not working, the next step is to add Battlefield 6 and EA Anti-Cheat Game Service Launcher to Exploit Protection. Now for this, you can type in Exploit Protection in Windows search box and then click on Exploit Protection over here. And then go to Program Settings. Go to Add a Program to Customize. Choose Exact File Path. Go to the Game Installation folder and then open the Game folder. Select the Game EXE file. Click on Open and then click on Add over here. You will receive this prompt now Put a check on override system settings and if these are on you have to turn it off in my case it's already off so put a check on override system settings for all the option and if these are on you can turn it off again put a check over here if the, these are on turn it off so turn off all the option once you put a check on override system settings do it for all the option and then hit apply click on yes to allow and then again go to choose exact file path select this one and then Again, click on open, do the same thing. Put a check on override system settings for all the option and turn off each option. Then hit apply, click on okay and then check. In my case, I have already added. Again, click on choose exact file path, do the same thing. Open the SP folder, Battlefield 6, open and do the same thing. And then hit apply, click on okay, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. Next step is to disconnect internet, launch the game. Once the game is up and running, you can connect to the internet. So. You can just disconnect the internet and then the EA app or Steam will go offline automatically once you disconnect the internet. And then you can launch the game. Now you can click on the play button over here. Once the game is up and running, launch the game and then let it run and then you can connect to the internet. Once you connect to the internet, the EA app will go online and the, even the game will go online. And then you can check. Still not working. Uh, the next step is to 
turn off smooth motion in nvidia app so you can launch nvidia app if you have nvidia app installed if not installed you can install it if you have nvidia card and then go to battlefield 6 over here find battlefield 6 if you don't find it over here go to graphics and select battlefield 6 over here and then go to the global settings at the top and then over here you can see smooth motion if this is on turn it off go to program settings select battlefield 6 scroll down smooth motion turn it off and then relaunch the game next step is to delete storage pool on your computer now when you delete the storage pool you will lose data present on the storage pools or storage space create a backup and do it at your own risk you can also visit microsoft website the link is provided in the video description here you can learn more about storage spaces spaces in windows so for this if you agree you can go to system and then you can go to storage option over here and then scroll down click on advanced storage settings and then click on storage spaces now over here if you have any pool created in my case i don't have any pool over here if you find any storage pool if you agree uh, you will lose all the data on the storage pool you can delete it and then you can relaunch the game this has worked for many players so it might work for you now the next step is to close these applications so if you have daemon tools running on your computer you can make a right click the start menu go to task manager so find daemon tools if you find this daemon tool running you can just make a right click click on end task and task and then make a right click on the start menu go to device manager and then expand storage controller if you find daemon tool make a right click disable it click on yes also expand universal serial bus controller make a right click and then disable it click on yes and once you disable it make sure that you close all the services for daemon tools over here and then relaunch the game if you have any other application like uh, you, you can even uh, uninstall daemon tool if that does not work restart the computer and then launch the, you can reinstall in future if you have this ds4 windows rewsd auto hotkey joy 2 key razor synapse corsair icue facet anti cheat riot vanguard logitech either mouse drop top application rain meter game companion app wipe ports or wipes vr software you can just close these application and make sure that you so here you can see i have so many application running so you can just close all the application from here which you don't need and while launching the game before you launch the game you can close these application so close all the application if you have these application whichever application I mentioned over here you can make sure that you close this application and also if you have the the services running for those application over here you have to make a right click and then end task this is just an example also uh, if you find those application like in device manager you can make a right click and disable it also if you find this xvdd sc si mini port in device manager make a right click and disable it corsair bus if you find it in device manager disable it you can even uninstall these application and then restart your computer and then launch the game. Close all third party application like if you have VLC codec, wallpaper engine, MSI apps, you can close it. Disable or uninstall if you have this Zaprate application, Crypto Pro, Punkbuster, uh, uninstall Punkbuster, uninstall these application. If you have this Goodbye DPI app, you can close it or uninstall it. Troubleshooting is not limited to these application only. If you have any third party application or services running, make sure that you close it. You end the process in task manager and disable it in the device manager if present and then restart the computer. Now, the next step is to allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. So if you have any third party antivirus like Avast, Norton, Bitdefender, allow the game exe file to your antivirus program. If you're using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to privacy and security, Windows security. And then click on virus and threat protection scroll down at the bottom you will see manage ransomware protection click on it click on allow an app through control folder access click on yes to allow add an allowed app browse all apps go to the game installation folder again and then open the game folder select this one and then select e anti-cheat ea and over here open this sp folder battlefield 6 add it open ea anti cheat installer folder say ea anti cheat folder select this and then open 
Now type in control panel in Windows search box. Click on control panel. Go to system and security Windows Defender Firewall. Click on allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Click on change settings. Allow another app. Click on browse and do the same thing. Go to the game installation folder. Add all the four exe file. Click on add and once it is added, launch the game. Next step is to run the game as an administrator from the game installation folder. So you can go to the game installation folder once again. And then just make a right click on the game exe file, run as administrator and then check. You can even run this EA anti cheat, run as administrator and then check. Still not working. The next step is to update Windows to the latest version. This is important. So open Windows settings. Do not ignore this. Go to Windows update. Click on check for update. Once all the updates are installed over here, then restart your computer and after the system restart, launch the game. Next step is to create a new admin local user account. This has also worked for many players, so it might work for you. So open Windows settings, go to accounts and then go to sign uh, other users. Click on other users, click on add account. Now over here, click on I don't have this person's sign in information. Click over here. And then click on add a user without a Microsoft account. You can create a username. This is just an example. If you want a password into the password, if you don't want it, click on next and then click on the account created. Click on change account type set is as an administrator. Click on OK. Now you have to log 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 out and log into this new account so you can log or you can restart your computer and then you can log in select this account while logging and once you log in you can install the game once again and then relaunch the game next step is to disable all kinds of mods before you launch battlefield 6 so if you're using this frosty fix in that case you can disable all the mods before you launch battlefield 6 and then check next step is to rename battlefield 6 folder in documents folder so open this File Explorer, go to Documents. Over here, you can see Battle 6 folder. Make a right click. You, you will lose all the save game progress. All the saved settings will be lost. So if you want, you can copy this. You can create a backup. You can paste it to the desktop. Once you have a backup created over here, now you can make a right click on Battlefield 6 and then you can rename this. And then relaunch the game and then check. In my case, I have already renamed it. So you can rename it and then check. Next step is to uncheck check or uncheck DLC. Now this has also worked for if you have the game on Steam. I don't have the game on Steam, so I'll show you a different game. You have to select Battlefield 6. Once you select Battlefield 6 on the right hand side, uh, you will see manage my DLC. So click on manage my DLC and you can uncheck HD texture over here, uncheck the DLC and then launch the game. If it is already unchecked, you can put a check and then you can launch the game. If you have the game on eApp, click on manage, modify, install. And over here, uh, you can expand this and then you can uncheck this multi multiplayer HD texture. You can uncheck it for single player also. You can uncheck this HD texture, update, install. And then once the update is complete, launch the game. If it is already unchecked, you can put a check and then check. Next step is to install Visual C++ file. For this, open this link in a browser. It will take you to Microsoft website. Scroll down. Here you can see Visual Studio files. You have to download this x86 and x64, both the files. So click on it and then run this exe file. If you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install option, hit install. Click on yes to allow. Download this x64 file as well. And then run this exe file. Again, if you see the repair option, click on repair. If you see the install button, hit install. And let the installation complete. Make sure both are installed. Once installed, you have to restart your computer and then you can launch the game. Next step is to repair or verify the game file. Now, if you have the game on EA app, you can click on manage over here and then click on repair. And after the repair, launch the game. If you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to install files tab and then click on verify integrity game files and then you can launch the game. Next step is to clear Steam cache. So Steam users, you can go to Steam, go to settings and then go to storage over here, find storage and then, sorry, not the storage, downloads. Go to downloads and then click on clear cache confirm yeah, the steam will restart then log into the steam once again and then check next step is to update windows to the latest version which we have already done make sure that you update it disconnect any kind of usb 
devices like if you have a USB flash drive, thumb drive, any kind of USB adapter connected, external devices, uh, disconnect uh, Razer Huntsman or key Chrome keyboard, disconnect external keyboard and mouse. If you have the dongle connected, dis disconnect the dongle, unplug external devices like if you have Vota's, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter, disconnect it. Disconnect headphone, launch the game, reconnect the headphone. Disconnect multiple monitor, try launching the game on single monitor. Next step is to Steam users run EA app in the background. So if you have the game on Steam, just open EA app in the background. Just keep it running. If the EA app is already running and you are facing the problem, then you can exit EA app and then you can check. So try both. Now the next step is to run EA app or Steam as an administrator. So if you have the game on EA app, first of all, close EA app and then make a right click. Run as administrator and then you can check. Now if you have the game on Steam, you can first of all close Steam and then type in Steam in the middle search box and then make a right click and then run as administrator and then check. Next step is to close all kind of Razer application. Do not overclock. If you have overclocked, set it to default. Close all the overclocking application like if you have MSI after burner revert unit running, close it. Disable overlay. If you have the disable or enable, you can try both. So if you have the game on Steam, make a right click on the game, select properties, go to general tab and if the option enable the steam overlay while, while in game is on you can turn it off if it is already uh, like uh, off you can turn it on so try both on and off and then relaunch the game each time and if you have the game on uh, like e app in that case you can go to settings and then go to application scroll down here you can see enable the steam overlay while in game you can turn it off and then check relaunch the game and then check if it is already off turn it on and then check Next step is to close all the overlay application. Like if you have Discord running, go to Discord settings, turn off overlay. If you have Nvidia app running, go to Nvidia app settings, turn off Nvidia overlay, and then close all the overlay application and then launch the game. Next step is to install Visual C++ file, which we have already done. So skip this. Now the next step is to update the BIOS. Now this has worked for many players. So do not ignore this update your BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website, select your model number and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected when you update the system BIOS and then check. The last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives. So if nothing is working, uh, you can just uninstall the game. After you uninstall the game, go to the game installation folder, delete the game folder, restart your computer and then install the game to C drive. So if the game is installed to D drive or E drive, try to install the game to C drive and then check. If the game is already installed to C drive, try installing the game to another SSD and then check. So one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix the EA anti-cheat error. So that'll be all. Thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel.